All right, this is Brandon with brandonmuth.com again. Uh, another very quick, straightforward tutorial. Um, this is for Mac users who are trying to run TurboTax 2018 business. Um, if you're like me, this year you went to the TurboTax website and you clicked the corporate corporation partnership button and you went down here to buy it so that you could include your LLC, K1, or your S-Corp partnership, C-Corp, etc. And you click to buy now, and the only option is PC Windows. And you go, wait a second, in 2017, I was able to get a version uh, for Mac. Why can't I do it for 2018? Well, with the release of the latest OS for Mac, they have disabled direct function calls, and as a result, it appears to no longer be in the best interest of Intuit to continue to provide, uh, to update their previous version of TurboTax in order to accommodate with, for the new OS. So, here's what you're going to do. First thing, you're going to recognize that as with anything tech-related, there are multiple ways to skin a cat, so to speak. There's multiple ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I did this which is the simplest, most straightforward way that I uh, researched and came up with. So it's going to require you to spend some money, um, but it's not going to be too bad. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go get parallels. And once you're over here at parallels, uh, you just click buy now and you say new license. And the home and student use work just fine. So you're going to select that license. You're going to go through the checkout process. And once you do that, you're going to get to this download area. And you'll download Parallels. Okay, That will show up in your Downloads folder on your Mac, which is right here. And you will be able to double-click that and install Parallels. Once Parallels installs, the second thing you need to do is it'll look like this once it's installed. So this is what Parallels will look like once it's installed. So the second thing you need to do is simply click Install Windows. And it's a one click. Um, and it will run. It took about 10, 12, 15 minutes on my machine uh, to install Windows and do everything that it needed to do. After Windows is installed, you're going to see this, this will pop up on your Mac. This is Parallels. This is Windows 10 running simultaneously as a program uh, on your Mac desktop. So once, once your screen looks like this, you go back to the TurboTax thing, and the third thing you're going to do is you're going to click the PC Windows, and you're going to complete the purchase of downloading uh, purchasing and downloading the PC Windows version of the Turbo business, TurboTax business. And once you've checked that out, once you've paid for it, $169.99, at least that's the pricing of when I did this uh, in March of 2019, uh, you're going to download that file. okay? And it is going to sit in your downloads folder right there. okay? And you can see that it's an EXE. Uh, which is meant for Windows, uh, Mac extensions or DMGs. Very very simple here. Uh, just what you're gonna all you're gonna do is you're gonna get the downloads folder viewable and the Windows 10 window viewable, and you're just gonna take that exe. I still haven't gotten used to this 3D touch. You're just gonna drag it and drop it onto your Windows. Okay. And then from here, you're in Windows. You're going to double click that, and you're going to run through a traditional installation like you would with any other program. Once that's installed, you're going to pop up with this. And it's going to say TurboTax 2018 is installed, launch TurboTax now, and you're set to go. So, um, as I said, there's multiple ways to do this. This is the easiest, most straightforward way that I figured out how to do this. Um, requires you purchasing a copy of Parallels. It requires you doing the one-click install for Windows 10 
in Parallels. Then you go back to the TurboTax site, purchase the Windows version of TurboTax Business, drag it over to the Windows 10 window, install it, and you're good to go. So hopefully that all makes sense. Questions, comments down below. But if you are running a Mac and you are running more than a self-employed business, uh, an LLC or an S Corp, etc., this is uh, the way that I found appears to be a pretty easy way to do it. So have a great day and good luck.